some games. Janet, it's so good to finally meet you. You too. Please, come on in. Why, what a lovely home. Oh, that's so nice of you to say. It really is lovely. Would you look at this place? It's like something out of Leave it to Beaver or Donna Reed. This woman is Donna Reed. All the pictures of the family, look. There's even one of the family dogs. I don't deserve to set foot in a place like this. Look at her checking this place out. No one could believe a sophisticated woman like that. She knows this place is wrecked until about 3 p.m. today. She can smell it. The toys, the dog, the pizza stain in front of the couch. Something to drink? Ice tea, Coke, fresh squeezed lemonade, lemonade sounds lovely. Coming right up. Fresh squeezed lemonade? She is rubbing it in my face. She's Miss Happy Homemaker. Well, I miss hate my job. Hope I can find a man before I'm 30 so I can have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll conveniently get a cell phone call and make my escape. There you go. For, oh, how cute, lemonade. Too many can't offer me a real drink, like a white wine, or whatever those career women drink. <coughs> Hi, are you Rachel? I sure am. I'm Deb. Deb, it's nice to meet you. Won't you come on in? Thank you. Just say it, Deb. Books? Wrong house. I run like mad. It's pretty obvious. This is what a happily married woman is. And me? Divorced? Yes, he was a pig. And yes, he cheated on me. Multiple times. Well, does she think it matters? I valued in my marriage. I don't deserve to be here. Okay. Maybe I fooled Janet, but Deb will certainly smell the uncleanness in this house. She has kids. She knows the score. Although, from the vacancy on her ring finger, I see she also has an advantage. No husband to clean up after. Lemonade? Sure. Deb, this is Janet. Janet Deb. Nice to meet you. Well, her next move will be to wash the hands and touch the divorce chain. Call me paranoid, but even this one's judging me. She's divorced, but her eyes say it all. At least she had the guts to try marriage. So, do you make fresh squeezed lemonade? No, thankfully my girls enjoy good old fashioned Kool Aid. I have enough time to squeeze lemons and make this delicious drink. Why did I just say that? Now they're really going to think I'm a terrible mother. Only giving my girls Kool Aid? <laughs> you heard her. She doesn't have time to squeeze lemons. Just come out and say it. Rachel doesn't have a life. Kool Aid. The last time I had that, was in a punch bowl at a frat house with a fifth of vodka. But I'm not going to tell them that story. <laughs> Roaming the countryside. 
following the Grateful Dead? <laughs> yeah, like I'm the only one. Who didn't follow Jerry and the Boys for summer and live out of a VW van before we changed the face of their childhood? Why did they look at me that way? Anyways, why that question? Any romantic involvement? No, and there won't be for some time. It's not exactly an easy thing to trust a man and risk loving someone when you suffered the abuse I did as a girl. But I can't tell any of them that here. How many of them would understand the self-doubt that comes from such a wound?